fast in time. So this is we planned some, but as you know, you guys seen our video, they didn't come out. First one, then the second one. Now, guys, this is a big one. My fingers got corn and everything by trying to peel this pumpkin. These are out, guys. So this is from here. Remember, I told you guys, it's a very, it's very stiff. So. That you see, cutting up more small pieces. Really small, smaller. Have to finish chopping it to cook. Masala and squash. Hello, you guys know how everything comes out. Hopefully, they eat the hair is a squash and the squash is all. Squash is all. Squash is all. Squash is all. Good morning guys, welcome back to our channel, Best Cooking and Adventure guys. Um, happy Narat from my family to all the family, to all my Hindu brother and sister, and to everyone out there um, who celebrated Narat at this time. Um, happy Narat to you and your family from me and my family. Thank you guys so much for all the subscribe, my supporters, thank you guys so much. Well, since it's Narat time, um, today is going to be some Narat um, dishes. I'm going to be making me and dad, dad home today, and he's going to be helping me. He's going to make, we're going to make some squash, some pumpkin, some um, chunks. And, you know, guys, like I, I keep saying, you guys share your recipe with me, you know. Um, let me know how you guys prepare this. You know, we all have our own little ways how we prepare in squash, pumpkin, and um, the chunks. Okay, guys, so it's fasting time. So this is on the menu today, guys. Me and dad are going to be making some pumpkin and some squash. Well, you know, well, as Sergeant couldn't understand, he always said, you know, this called butternut squash. But it goes good as pumpkin for us. We cook it like we cook pumpkin, and it works good. But they call it over here butternut squash. And this is one squash one our neighbors give us. They had a lot of squash this year. We planned some, but as you know, you guys see in our video, they didn't come out. But yeah, she gave us this squash. So I'm gonna cook squash and pumpkin today, and I'm gonna bunge some chunks. So I'll show you guys how we do it. So it's our nine day of fasting. So it's fasting time. Squash and pumpkin. Okay, that guys. So that is peeling it, and you know, as who know this um butternut squash is very hard to peel. But this peeler, oh my God, it was like the best thing. It's it's so easy with the peeler to just peel it off. And with this peeler, as you see, the skin come off. You don't lose much of the the um the flesh or the <laughs> whichever you call it or, or, or the pumpkin. You know, you don't lose a lot of it because it come out like nice. Nice and thin, just the skin. Look at that. The peeler was like the best thing. So that that's gonna peel this up. So that done with the first one, then the second one now guys, this is the big one. Look at that, look how, neat. Look, look how that peels so fast. And who cook this and try to peel it, know that it's very hard. But get one of these peelers and it works charms. Trust me, my fingers got corn and everything by trying to peel this pumpkin. Or butternut squash, this, that's what they call it over here, butternut squash. See, look at that, nice and thin. And this is the one that he finished. See, all he left to now is to cut it up, chip it up. Okay guys, so that's gonna peel the squash the same way. 
As you see, watch, nice and thin. Look at the skin. So it's not, you know, lose much of your squash. You know, normally try to peel it with your, um, a knife. You will lose a lot from the squash. But when you use a peeler, look how nice it is coming out, look. Put the wrong side, eh? <laughs> yeah. And you have two sides on it. Some side to bring it out. Okay, guys, so both of them finished peeling. Dad working on the squash there still. So, once you finish peeling, we're gonna start cutting it up in small pieces. Okay, guys, so Dad's gonna start chip up the squash. And now, and you see, this is a nice young squash. Look at the seed, that's how you know when it's young. So, some people will take the seeds out, some will leave it in. So that's gonna take out the seeds. And you try to save a lot of this squash, so you just try to get the seed out. So you see that is just trying to get the seed out. I like when it's really, when it, I guess younger than this, so some people like to keep it up in, cook it with the seed, I guess. All the seeds are out guys so this is ready to chip we're gonna chip it up in small pieces so here guys you see dad is chipping up the pumpkin there now what? <laughs> sorry squash pumpkin there. the pumpkin there next to him so he's chipping it out there now in small pieces but you know whatever you guys prefer however you guys chip your squash that's but this is how he, you know, he mark it, and then he chip it. Look, that's the technique. So this is that cutting up the pumpkin. Remember, I told you guys it's a very, it's very stiff. So he chop it up in small pieces, and then we're gonna cut it with a knife in most small pieces. The pumpkin, you take the seed out in the middle. See, you want to get it like that. So you see, a little stiff. And we bought this machete from Amazon, guys. It's really sharp, and he worked to cut everything, all meats and everything. So you're taking out the middle like that. He's saving that to put on his gar in his garden, so it will give him um, what a good rot and give you more. So, so this is the little West Indian store on here on um Wethersfield Ave in Connecticut guys in Hartford so this is a West Indian store where I come and get a little bit of you know my chunks and katahar and you could get your bread and a little bit of guy and stuff that they have so that's what it said Mike West Indian grocery right over there okay guys so this is a little West Indian store over here um on Wethersfield Ave so I'm gonna pick up some chunks here. These are the chunks I'm gonna do some chunks today too. So I come to get it at the store. So you could find every little thing here at the West Indian store. Where is Fila? You know, or like a Guyana stuff. You want to look Guyana soda and stuff like that. It carries like a little bit of everything. As you could see. Ben and Isha here with me too. They get a little cold. There we go. Look at her. She hold her baby. That's Hi her guys. They here. Oh no, we 
he gets. Kakahar. And Baiganchoka. I guess those are Baji. So I'm gonna give me some Kakahar too. Like I was saying, if you come and get all your little guy and stuff over here, see, they have some. Mango achar. Good to see you. Yeah, it's Chinese sauce. Bread, tennis roll, butterfly, chubman, Missouri. Okay guys, so here that you see cutting up more small pieces. So thank God for daddy there home today, you see? I get big help out. So you gotta cut it up really small, smaller, after you finish chopping it. And look this squash. The squash is all set and ready to cook. And that's the pumpkin now. So I think we come up with a decision, we're gonna masala the squash put some masala in it like a curry and then we're gonna fry the pumpkin so we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna do it so guys these are the chunks that i pick up so i'm gonna soak this for 15 to 20 minutes in hot water so i'm gonna run some hot water and i'm gonna soak it of course this is fast in time we yeah fast in time everybody fast <laughs> Everybody fast when it's fasting time in this house. Christian, Muslim, Hindu, everybody fasting. Okay, guys, so yeah, this is my setup here. See, I cut up my onion and some tomato. The tomato I'm just gonna put inside the um, squash. I'm not gonna put tomato in the pumpkin. The pumpkin only get normally onion and garlic and pepper with some salt. I, as you guys know, you add salt to your taste. So, yeah, so I'm gonna blend this all up now. And let's get the cooking going. Okay, guys, so here goes the garlic and pepper. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna do the squash first. Dad got his squash here and you get the masala. Remember I told you guys we're gonna masala the squash. So you get your masala, garlic and pepper in there ready to go. And the oil is so you have his oil on here. So once the oil is nice and hot, he's gonna chunky the squash first. So guys, onions are in. So you know dad normally likes his onion nice and brown. Just like me, I like when my onion is in them too. Okay, so that is chunky in his the squash now. That's serious cook man, you know. So you chunky up his squash here now, guys. You put nice masala. And if he just makes it the masala with all his ingredients, mix ingredients in. So you're gonna let this now for let it let it um masala cook in the oil for a little bit and then he's gonna put his squash in. So that add his tomato in. 
with the masala so it's good for too. Now let's so good there. Okay, better throw in a squash now guys. See masala was all nice and cooked. So we put it in the squash now. That I give it a good turn and out. See, look how good that looks, guys. Look, look there. And like I said, you guys are gonna put salt to your teas. See how nice you look. So you're going to give this a good stir here guys and cover it and leave it to cook. So here I am doing some fresh seasoning for the chunks and as you know guys, fresh seasoning from that garden. Alright. I do it in a bullet. The bullet doing So this is what the chunks looks like after to set 20 minutes to 30 minutes soaking in the hot water. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna squeeze it out and put it in the next bowl. So you see, you squeeze out all the water from it and you just, you know, um, put it in the next bowl. So this is ready to be cooked. Everybody have their little way of doing it, guys. If you have a different way, you just comment and um, let me know, okay? So this is kind of my, I cook it before, but it's my first time like, um, you know, really um, cooking it all by myself. <laughs> I should say, when I cook it before, I had help. So let's see how, you know, how this turned out. Hopefully turned out really good. And if you guys have a recipe for chunks, let me know, guys. Comment and let me know how do you guys prepare it. Okay, guys, so this is the setup for the pumpkin now. So, like I said, we're just going to put onion, garlic, and pepper with salt to your taste in our pumpkin. Um, some people masala it. We do that sometime too, but today we're going to fry it. Okay, we're going to just fry it um, with some garlic, pepper, onion, and salt. So pumpkin is ready. Oil is on, ready for the pumpkin. So we're going to put the onion in and let the onion get brown. And then we're going to put the garlic and pepper. Okay, that is putting in the garlic and pepper, the onion there now. Okay guys, look at the squash. That add a little bit of the green seasoning in it. The first seasoning that I just, it's halfway going. So we can have a good turn. Look at it. Look how good that looks, guys. I smell really good right now in the kitchen. I love when I'm cooking. The kitchen smell of like food. Everybody smell like food. <laughs> how good the squash looks. And the onion is getting brown here for the um, pumpkin. So I just let's get a little brown so that's gonna add the garlic and pepper in here too. So here that adding the garlic and pepper there now. Just a little bit in the oil and then you throw in the pumpkin. Let it fry it with the oil a little bit and you add the pumpkin in. Like I said, we have a lot of different ways people cook their pumpkin and um, we do too. We do masala with just like we did with the squash. Um, you add, you know, and then you add your shrimp or whatever else you put in, in your pumpkin. But we are fasting so we are doing everything, you know, um, no ring. That's gonna add the, all the pumpkin inside now. 
ini I want to see adding all the pumpkin. You're gonna give it a good stir. Like I said, we're making it veggie because we are fasting. But you could add, you know, whatever meat or fish or um, shrimp or what you guys add in it. You know, I know everybody cook it, you know, their own way, but. We are making it strictly vegetarian today. Okay guys, so that add a little bit of grangeera. You know that cooking is different from mine, so he added his little bit of uh, grangeera here now when it's almost finished. It's not um, totally finished yet, he still gotta go down a little bit more. So he add some grangeera in it now and give it a good start. Look how good the squash look. Oh my God. It looks so good. All right, that will do a little taste here now. The guy needs to taste it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Nice. Tastes good, guys. Okay guys, so pumpkin is in, and that give it a good store there, and you're going to cover it and leave it. Normally sometimes pumpkin lose you on water, or you have to add some water for it to boil. So it look like ours going to lose some nice water here, so you're not going to add anything yet. They're going to cook with his own, you know, it's going to cook on his own. Just like the squash, the squash we didn't have to add anything. It lose its own water, and you're going to and it boil with it. Okay guys, so here is the squash, all done. As Isha gonna say, it's all done. So this is ready. So as you guys know, when everybody gonna be eating, I'll let you guys know how everything comes out. Hopefully they eat slow so I could, you know, because sometimes the food finish so fast, I'm telling you. All right, so the here is the squash, and the squash is all finished. So look at the pumpkin guys, the pumpkin taking shape there, so you start to melt, so it is a nice pumpkin. So yes guys, see pumpkin taking shape there, so it's going to melt, so not good. Okay guys, look at the pumpkin, you see it's all melted, so this don't have long more and it will be all finished. As I'm getting the setup for the top, see how nice and melted this is. Look, it's the pumpkin. Look how good this looks. So it just don't have long more, and it will be all done. Soon it's go down a little bit more. That's when it's gonna be all ready. So here's the setup for the chunks, guys. So I got my chunks. Like I show you guys, I soak it and squeeze it out, and it's all ready here. I got my masala mix here already. I'm trying it to do like that. Mix everything up with a little bit of water. And here I have the onion, garlic and pepper, onion, and the fresh seasoning that um, I picked from, I show you guys when I blend it up. So I'm gonna cook my chunks. And like I said, guys, if you guys have a way, a recipe that you guys do the chunks, um, just comment. Don't be scared to comment, okay? That it was that this is what this is all about. We share our recipe with each other. So the onion is all in and as you guys know I like my onion nice and broth. So the onion is in guys. So I'm gonna let this get a little brown. Pumpkin almost finished here. So you see everything is done. You don't even see a bubble. You hardly see any water or anything like that. Oh the steam. So yeah, the so pumpkin is all done guys and ready. Okay guys, so my onion was almost burnt but it was nice and brown and um, I'm throwing the masala there now. And the garlic, pepper and the green seasoning I'm gonna go in. So we got everything in there. And we're going to let this cook on the oil a little bit and then we're going to throw in the sunset. See how good that looks? So we're going to let this fry up a little bit. Okay 
you guys you see the masala is frying oh too much steam too much steam the masala frying like on the oil there they put nice huh? and that's mesisha and we're gonna throw the chunks in our corner like i'm gonna make this dry um yes guys i'm gonna try this today um well such a request he wanted hubby wanted nice and dry so i'm gonna try to do it nice and dry I see look, look the nice color i think i need some light more in here let me see yes guys i think that make it a little more look how nice that is so yep so this go bunji nice now i'm gonna cover it and leave it for it to bunji with the masala and all the stuff for them to mix together okay guys so i add a little more seasoning in it that i had in the i washed the um container out and i throw it in and i'm giving it a good turn look at that so i'm gonna let this go down in the own um you lose the own a little bit of water and the little bit i just added with the um seasoning and let it cook and go back down on the oil once it start frying the oil i'll let that sit fry for a little bit and then it's all done like i said guys comment let me know how you guys cook your chunks and if you guys get a good recipe let me know you know this is all about sharing our recipe okay guys so look at the chunks it's almost finished here it's, uh, we're gonna leave it to fry on the oil for a little bit more and it's done that cut a little bit of fresh pepper that's where the green um yellow stuff you guys see he put some fresh pepper on the top okay guys so this is all done and it's ready so this is the chunks and it's all finished okay guys so i end up and i need some roti rice and that's my curry so as you see that's my <laughs> pumpkin chunks and the squash so that's what the plate look like yes guys so why you could cook up a storm today look well dad and me oh, yeah, fat uh -huh. lamb, so such gonna do the so look what we have here the squash uh chunks pumpkin a little bit of rice, mango achar, and roti. A little bit of everything just to show show you guys. So, yeah. it's, not, so it's now rat and you know we fasting. So I will do the um the taste test. Do the honor. The honor. <laughs> Come in. You you want it? Ben had Ben had pumpkin and roti earlier. You want to do the taste test too? Yeah, daddy feed mm. you. Yeah, he had pumpkin roti earlier too. Pumpkin was good. Mm -hmm. See the squash. Mm -hmm. Good thing, good thing, good thing. Try it again. Chunks. Y'all got my back again. Yeah, okay. okay. So now I'm. I'll do a little bit of rice with them. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little rice. Yeah. With all the curry and the chunks. And a little bit of char. It's very good. Healthy living. <laughs> For nine <Okay>. days. <laughs> Look what I have here. Lemonade to wash down. Mm hmm. And Isha having pine tart, and no, it's no egg. I make sure that. There's good, good food. I just eat fast. All, all the rest of my life is food. Come like this. <laughs> mm. So, God bless the cook. Awesome job. My father and my wife. Everything came out perfect. Subscribe. So, hit that like bell. Uh-huh, what else? What else? Hand sanitized or a mask. Okay, anything else? No. Okay.
Okay, so you guys hear it from Ben. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for always supporting our channel. And you know, good thing always on the way. Either adventure or cooking, something always on the way. Stay tuned guys and let it know where I go.